Are you troubled by the living? Is death the problem and not the solution? Unhappy with eternity? Or are you having difficulty adjusting? If so, just call Beetlejuice, the bio exorcist. Today's spooky recipe is a Beetlejuice inspired smoothie. We're going to begin by measuring out two and a half cups of milk. We're going to add the milk to a small saucepan. I want this smoothie to have a really strong spiced taste. So what we're gonna be doing is infusing our milk with our cinnamon, our cardamom, ginger, and all of the other spiced flavors that you think of this time of year. I'm gonna begin by adding some ground ginger. This does work better if you have fresh ginger, but ground is also okay. Add to that some fresh ground nutmeg. I want the cinnamon to really pack a punch, so I am gonna be adding three cinnamon sticks. But before I add them, I wanna break them apart a little bit with my mortar and pestle to release that strong flavor. We're gonna place one star anise into our mortar and pestle and grind that. Before removing the star anise, I am going to add a teaspoon of cardamom seeds. I'm also going to add some cloves in as well. Let's give all of this a really good grind. And this is how finely I ground it. Last but certainly not least, I am going to add one teaspoon of homemade vanilla. I'm gonna place our pot on medium-low heat and get that warming up. I also decided to add some allspice. While the milk's infusing, let's get our glasses prepared. To line the glasses, I am going to be using my homemade chocolate sauce, and I shared this recipe in my spiced hot chocolate video but I've inserted the clip of how to make it in here as well. So enjoy. We're gonna begin by adding one cup of water to our small saucepan. Add a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of organic cane sugar. Add one cup of cocoa powder. Add one teaspoon of vanilla. This vanilla is special because it's a home-brewed batch. Last but not least, an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter of a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. We're gonna place our saucepan on medium-low heat and start whisking. Once the ingredients are incorporated, you're gonna switch over to a spatula so you can scrape the sides and the bottom. Make sure to keep an eye on this chocolate sauce as it'll stick quickly and it'll boil over. Once it begins to boil, cook it for two minutes. After two minutes, you can see that the sauce is nice and thick. We're gonna turn off the heat and allow this to cool before storing it in the refrigerator. Once it has cooled slightly, I'm gonna add it to a mason jar and let it sit out a little bit longer before putting the lid on and storing in the refrigerator up to one month. Okay, so now that we're back, we're going to take a basting brush. You can also use a spoon and dip it in the chocolate sauce and just paint some striped lines on your glasses. Once your glasses are painted, place them in the freezer so that the chocolate will stay stuck to the glass when you pour the smoothie in. Our milk mixture has been bubbling for about five minutes, so I'm gonna give it a good stir, turn off the heat, and let it cool for about 20 minutes before adding it to our blender. Once the milk is cooled, I'm gonna get a small metal strainer and I'm just going to strain the milk while pouring it into the blender because we don't want any of those hard pieces of our spices. 
to the blender, we're going to add one dried fig, two scoops of plain or vanilla protein powder, and then three medium-sized bananas that have been frozen. I'm going to add a half a cup to one cup of chilled milk, just because the other milk is still a little warm. So I don't want that to warm up the temperature of the smoothie too much. And we needed a little bit of additional liquid. Now it's time to blend. We're gonna remove our chilled glasses from the freezer and pour our smoothie right in. I'm gonna to top with a little bit of coconut whipped cream and some cinnamon sugar. These are sure to be a hit at your next Monster Bash. Thank you so much for joining me today at Witch Hollow Homestead. Keep it spooky and happy Halloween. Halloween.